We helped a local hearing clinic boost their revenue by 534% and reduce their cost per acquisition by 48%, helping them open five more locations, all through the power of digital marketing. There are lessons here for any business, understanding your target audience, not being afraid to choose a niche, the power of highly effective pay-per-click ads, landing pages, and local SEO. And in this video, we're gonna share those lessons. Okay, so the business here is Regain Hearing. They're a private audiology clinic. They're really good at what they do and incredibly passionate, but when they came to us, their website wasn't bringing in enough leads to help them grow the business. They were relying solely on local footfall. They tried search ads before on Google, but it hadn't really worked for them. This highlighted a bit of a conversion rate issue, which was the first thing we wanted to address. When we looked at the ad account and their analytics and their website, we realized what we didn't want to do is just make a few conversion tweaks here and there and then start running the same ads again. This is a highly competitive industry with a lot of really big players gobbling up lots of market share. So we knew we had to be really good in order to compete. We could see there was an opportunity to laser target some segments of their audience. And by the way, we'll get to how we identified that opportunity in just a minute and then run very specific pay-per-click ads to them to very specific landing pages. The results? Well, we dropped their cost per acquisition by 48% just in the first three months. We helped them 5X their revenue in the first year and more than tripled their inbound lead volume so they could open these new clinics to handle that new demand. And according to Lee, the founder of Regain, this growth has enabled us to expand our business from a single premises operation to six locations in a relatively short space of time. So let's look at exactly how we did this. But by the way, before we do this, did you know that Regain Hearing actually came to us through our free website and marketing review? We gave them some free information that showed them how they could increase the lead volume that they were generating through improving their conversion rate on their website and driving more qualified traffic to it. They loved these recommendations and we ended up working with them. But even if we didn't end up working with them, they still could have taken these recommendations and either implemented themselves or with another agency. And by the way, if you're thinking, well, that sounds really good, I'd love to do that too. Well, you absolutely can. All you need to do is go to exposureninja.com forward slash review and request your free website and marketing review. We'll take a look at your existing digital marketing and your website, and we'll also map you out a plan to get to where you want to get to within the next six to 12 months. We'll film this and turn it into a video which we send you by email, usually within two to three working days. This service is completely free, but not everyone is eligible. So you do need to apply for this by going to exposureninja.com forward slash review. So our analysis at the start of this campaign showed us that the website just really wasn't performing how it needed to. We built a plan with Regain to actually rebuild the website from scratch. Sometimes it helps to take a step back before you take a step forward. And spending lots of money on driving traffic to a website that isn't working can often be a less effective use of budget than actually rebuilding the website and having that one-off investment cost to rebuild the site so that when you drive traffic to it, that traffic performs much better. We could also see that pay-per-click advertising was gonna be potentially really profitable for them because we could target people very narrowly in a location radius around their clinic. And we knew that by driving this traffic to dedicated landing pages optimized for that exact purpose, we get a much higher conversion rate than they'd had previously, making these pay-per-click ads much more cost-effective. Of course, there's no way that we'd start a campaign like this or any campaign without doing industry and competitor research. We wanted to see how their competitors were positioning themselves and the messages that they were using to stand out. And what we found was a lot of generic businesses. You couldn't really tell the personality behind them. They didn't really sell their expertise, particularly the ones that were part of a big chain. These were our main competitors. Now, this type of competitor research is something that you can do. This can be as simple as just searching for your target keywords on Google and having a look at the websites that show up. And think about these sites from a customer's perspective. What makes them stand out? What are the messages they're putting forward? We do this with our multinational, multi-billion dollar clients as much as we did with Regain Hearing when we built their website four years ago. So we decided to rebuild the website and put the team at Regain front and center. Now this site is four years old now, so it's about due a refresh, but you can see how much we've emphasized the team behind the business. We've also used a lot of credibility triggers such as the 2611, five-star reviews on Google up in the header so people see it immediately when they land on the page. We've got this benefits bar which emphasizes why people should shop with them. 
We've got lots of information about what they do and then we've got this nice big CTA offering people the chance to book their consultation today. You'll see the team feature prominently throughout the site because this is a very expert led business. If we'd have just gone with a bunch of generic stock photos of, you know, old people dancing in a field with wheat, this wouldn't have had the same impact and it wouldn't have represented Regain in the way that we wanted it to do. We also made sure that each service page, each of the individual sub pages on the site could accept cold traffic right so they did a good job of setting the scene explaining what regain hearing was now again this website is now four years old so it's due a bit of a refresh but there's so much information on these sub pages about what this service is that any question a potential customer would have is going to be asked this gave us the confidence to drive pay-per-click traffic to these pages knowing that they were going to convert much better than the previous website so once we had the research and the website built we could then turn our attention to the pay-per-click advertising. Now Regain at the time was a fairly small business that had a pretty restricted ad budget. But to be honest, we take a very similar approach with the clients that are much, much bigger because we wanna make sure that we're getting the most out of any budget that they're putting into Google. And we did one of the things that we'll often do with pay-per-click clients where we target specific radiuses around the clinics, particularly targeting higher population density areas, knowing that there are gonna be lots of potential customers in these areas. And thanks to the initial research we've done and figuring out how we're gonna position Regain differently to their competitors, we could zero in these ad campaigns on just the highest value keywords that we knew we had a better chance of converting than their competitors. Now there's also a bit of a lesson in here about expanding your range of target keywords outside of the ordinary day-to-day -day stuff that you think you might be targeting. Let me give you an example. So with Regain, we identified that actually a lot of people who came into their practice looking for earwax removal really had a problem with hearing loss and they ended up buying hearing aids as a result. So they came in for something very low cost they ended up leaving with a hearing aid. We got this information from talking to Regain and finding out what their typical customer journey was like. Now, it just so happened that at the exact same time, the National Health Service in England was withdrawing the free earwax removal service they were offering through GPs. This meant that we could run ads offering free earwax removal for Regain, knowing that a proportion of these free earwax removal leads were going to turn into hearing aid clients. By being nimble and by running these ads very aggressively early on, before the big players had woken up to this strategy, we were able to really make hay while the sun shines and drive a lot of traffic through to Regain, which helped them make a lot of money. Sometimes it helps to think outside the box and actually working with Regain to identify these opportunities that maybe they wouldn't have thought about because they're so in the business every day was a really productive step and it's something that our team absolutely love doing with clients. Now with any ad channel, but particularly with Google Ads, a campaign should never just be set and forget. You don't just set the campaign up, let it run, and then just see how it goes. Because if left alone, it only goes in one direction. So like we always do, we're constantly testing different ads, different landing pages, slight adjustments to targeting, adding negative keywords, tweaking the landing pages to see what we could do to continue improving performance. And of course, these adjustments should always be based on data. So once we've got a campaign or an ad group, that is performing well, we'll divert more budget to that. We'll expand the reach of these campaigns and drive more of this high quality traffic to these targeted landing pages. Now at the start of this video, I shared the results from this campaign, right? 48% drop in cost per acquisition within the first three months, a more than 5X increase in revenue and more than 3X increase in lead volume. Now this was despite Regain already running pay-per-click, so it wasn't like they were doing nothing before. So what was it that allowed them to get significantly better results using essentially the same tools? Well, one of the ways that we work at Exposure Ninja is we have different experts, different ninjas as we call them, that specialize in each different task within digital marketing. So we don't have one person that drives the whole campaign. We have a pay-per-click ninja who drives the PPC. We have dev and CRO people who build the landing pages. We have the SEO team who do the local SEO, the content team who do the content, and then we have someone who ties all of this together and oversees the campaign for the client. If we were just expecting one single person to be able to do all of these things, we'd have never been able to generate the results that we could. Because there's just no way that one person could have enough skill to drive these results in each of these areas. All of these areas are connected, but they're all so different. In fact, Regain Hearing actually put it really nicely. They said, we benefit from the expertise and skill set of the full team at Exposure Ninja. 
something that we wouldn't benefit from if we employed one person to just head up our digital marketing. All right, so how do you do this for your business? Let's say that you're a multi-location firm, you wanna get some more locations in your portfolio so that you can expand and grow the business. Here's a recap of the steps. Do your competitor positioning analysis to work out what competitors are going to the market with and how you can stand out against them. Then it's your keyword research, identifying what customers are searching for that indicates they might need your thing. Now, sometimes this will be they need a hearing clinic. Sometimes this might be they just need free wax removal, but really they need the hearing aid. So you might need to target what customers think they want, even if they actually need something different. Great idea to talk to the sales team, talk to your service team, talk to your customers to figure out some of these things as well. We wouldn't have known about Regain's conversion rate from wax removal to hearing aids had we not spoken to their team. Then turn all of this information into website landing pages. It always blows my mind that people would just start building a website without any real understanding of the business. How are you going to get that business on to a website unless you've spoken to the team and potentially even the customers of that business to know which messages you need to push. This also allows you to build dedicated landing pages targeting some of the phrases that you're going to be going after in your PPC, making sure that you're addressing your customers' pain points and reassuring them with any concerns or objections that they might have prior to converting. If you've profiled your customers really well, you'll also be able to use imagery on your site that reflects who your customers are. So when they land on the page, they can see themselves. That's going to improve your conversion rate too. Then of course, you get all of this up and running and you look at the data to tell you where to fix, where to tweak and where to go hard. Let me know in the comments, what's your biggest takeaway from this? And is there anything that you're going to apply to your digital marketing as a result? Now, something that we haven't covered in this video, but we also used on this campaign was local SEO. And you can watch this video to learn how to use local targeting and local SEO to grow a multi-location business. Until next time, see you soon.